but you know, it's some five year old that be sitting up here talking about don't drop that thumb to none. I'm like, right, you don't even know what to drop to none either, though. Right. Or do you? A lot of them, but it's, it's ingrained in their psyche now, though. There's a lot of songs we was growing up like Prince, uh, masturbating to a magazine. And I'm like, wait a second, we used to sing this as the little kids. They talk about masturbating to a magazine. This was Prince, but they played it on the radio. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you masturbate. Now, you, can, you might not even understand what he's saying, but masturbating to a magazine. But this is playing on the radio. Okay, exactly. So what does that do to the psyche? Now, even though I was a little kid, I didn't even understand what it meant. Now I'm like, dang, wait a second, man, I was masturbating to a magazine. Man, that's some pornographic stuff going on right that's some, that's, some, that's some fetish, that's some perversion stuff going on right here. And this is what's playing on the radio from Prince. And we all listening to it? Come on, man. Like you said, they want us to be entertaining. They want us to be, yeah, man, and they want us to be nasty. No morals. Right right now, as the African-American, the African-American man, they have the opposite thing where we're supposed to have Gita, we're supposed to have jealousy for our women. Shaitan flipped it where all we call our girls is bees. That's what we do with our women now, right? They're sex objects. We have we have no more gita. We have no more jealousy. We want everybody to look at our women because we want to flaunt like a trophy. Like, yeah, look at you, yeah, look at that booty, yeah, look at that style, yeah, look at that. Clyde's there. Look at her. Walking. That's not Islam though. Okay? Even in Islam, we talked about also the outer. In Islam, we lower our gaze in Islam. We don't look at the women, we don't talk to them in their eyes, oh, I say, how you doing, Islam? Like we don't do that in Islam. We like, Islam like we, we, we lower our gaze. And for the women, it said that when the women, when they, when someone asks them a question, they don't sweeten their voices. Oh, how you doing, brother? No, it says be firm and stern when you talk. Don't sweeten your voice up. What you sweeten your voice for? This is what Allah says in the Quran. He said, because there might be a disease in the man's heart. You know, the man, oh, there it was. Did you hear how she said something? Like to you? Did you hear how she said it? And in his mind, he might have a disease where he thinks now she likes him or something. Because of how she spoke to him. But Islam, we don't do all that. Ain't no free mixing. Sitting together and all that. Oh, sister, how you doing? Say, give me a hug. Sister, how you doing? All right, blah, blah, blah. Yes, sir. Good, luck. Good to see you, sister. All right, how you doing? Yes, sir. I rubbed it all on her back. All on the bottom of her back. Sister, how you doing? We don't do that in Islam, man. You don't touch nobody's woman. You don't shake hands with nobody's wife or none of that in Islam. This is all part of Gita. This is all part of the Hadith. Okay? We lower our voice. Allah supposed to say, when you speak to the women, speak behind the hijab. Meaning there's a barrier. Okay? And if she does or she's doing business, whatnot, she's firm. No. Bye. He's not here. No. Okay. Ain't no lagging, I don't know, lingering conversation and all this other stuff. How you did? None of that, man. To remove the fitna and to remove the potentiality of shaitan bringing out some type of disease. It ain't got nothing to do with uh, insecurity problems and all this other stuff. It has to do with what the law says because shaitan is tricky. Okay, so this is all part of our demon. Okay, but this is out of. Again, as a man, it's our responsibility to push the line with regards to what our women wear or what they don't wear. We don't allow them to wear tight clothes. We don't allow them to have their shape showing. We don't allow their boobs showing. Her ears must be covered. She cannot have earrings coming out the ears so some of the people can see her earrings. Okay, she's not supposed to wear anklets or whatnot so they jangle. Okay, also said when she walks, she shouldn't. You know what I'm saying? I'm, this is all Hadith, I'm telling you. All Hadith. All Hadith, right? See, this, the women out there, they know they're naked. They start to get me. Why are you looking at me? Why you? Why you? Well, you know, you know, you had coochie cutters when you left the house. Yeah. What's we supposed to be? We supposed to be mindful of this. We supposed to push the line, and we are supposed to be those who obey, man, regardless of what anybody else is doing. Sisters, don't let nobody else tell you, oh girl, you ain't got to do that. That ain't important. Don't let them take you to the hellfire. Don't let no other sister take you to the hellfire, man. Don't let nobody else tell you, man. Hey, man, you ain't got to be that hard, young woman, man. Don't move, move. because we're gonna be accountable, bro. Right? If my wife get mad at me because I tell her to, to cover like she's supposed to, so now you want to argue with me about this dean? Man, that could be grounds for divorce for me. Huh? You, I'm not supposed to argue with you about how you're supposed to cover. We Muslim. Allah says this in the Quran. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's my job to implement this. You want to buck against me? You want to buck against me? Man, I'll tell you what. To luck to, I'll divorce you. I will find one where Allah supposed to say this. And if they do not want to submit, understand that he will replace them with those that are better than them. Maybe even virgins.
So then he warns the women that get in line, follow orders, or Allah will replace you with somebody else. Somebody that will do it. Okay? And so the thing is with the women, this is a part of your iman. Your hijab and all of this, this is part of your belief system. This is the number one factor. The man, we got all kinds of things. We got, we got to go provide. We got to go fight jihad. We got to kill people. Get killed. You know, put food on the table. Fast, put on the mask. Do all this. We'll, we'll, we'll climb mountains. The woman, all she had to do, obey her husband, cover properly, and make salat. And she can enter paradise through any door that she wishes. Simple. But because of the society, the society here it gears is geared toward take it off. Let me see you. What you working with? Right? So now the contrast of covering and taking off, now this woman she fighting with her knots now because we're told in society to look pretty. Let everybody look at you. Girl, you look pretty. Everybody gonna all be looking at you. They all gonna be looking at you. In Islam, we don't want everybody looking at you. You don't want everybody looking at you. You wanna be mine. You wanna be. Man, who's that? She was gone already, man. Couldn't you see what she looked like? You weren't supposed to see what she looked like. That's somebody's wife, man. Why are you trying to look at what she, what she looked like anyway? Gila. Okay? Any questions?